Leaves to the money. Wait, 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 wait. And then we die. <laughs> Yo, we got a special guest, Frederick Gary Shinolesco. <laughs> you know the pin? Dinosaurs don't feel pain. Yeah. It's our new addition to the 3A household. New friend. So. Beautiful day out, beautiful day, and we have a beautiful beer, hopefully, for the occasion. So, this week we have a beer from my friends in Delaware. Boom! Dogfish head, kind of dark. Oh no, you can't read it. It's sunny out there. The sun's yeah, causing sun. a, oh well, it's called Festina Peche. Or Peach Festival, is my guess. A malt beverage brewed with peach concentrate. Nope, that didn't help. Ah, maybe it did a little bit, actually. Okay, good look, good look, good look. Um, so this beer is, we did some reviews, and it, since it's brewed with like peach concentrate, there's obviously going to be some peach flavors, which sounds really good. Uh, we like peaches, and uh, let's say the other review is supposed to be kind of a weedy beer, like a weedy, lemony, not really like a shandy, but kind of like a Oberon-ish, ish, with like a peach and, and a little bit of lemony flavor maybe, from all the reviews. Uh, people seem to like it overall. You either like it or you don't like it. Yep, people either love it or they hate it, and uh, I don't really think that's true, but hopefully we love it. Yeah. Um, straight at it. I think so, yeah. We've had, we've had some long blogs. We'll try and save people a little bit of time. More West Face time. My face needs the break. Here we have our nice pint glasses, um, as it should be poured in a pint glass to enjoy thoroughly. 45 degree pour angle. That is a weird color. I did not expect that. Uh, and a nice little topper offer. Uh, not a whole lot of head on this beer. Just a little bit though. There's some carbonation rolling in there. You can kind of see it on the camera vaguely. That's good. Carbonation's always good. Gives it some more flavor. Same for a big head. <laughs> pour it quick. Oh, that's a good pour. Good pour. Thanks. Your pour is far superior to mine. Ooh, the smell is kind of yeah. Let's let's show it off. I take uh, I give lessons if anyone's interested. Twenty dollars an hour. Takes about five hours. Must <laughs> No, I'm not signing up for this shit. Uh, <laughs> so you see, it's kind of a nice yellow color. Um. It smells kind of weedy. You don't really get as like a maybe a hint of like a peach smell, but it kind of it kind of smells like an off peach smell. It doesn't really smell like a ripe yeah. a ripe peach. Which is kind of what I was hoping for. I don't know. If you didn't know there was peaches in this and you smell it, you might not be able to smell peaches. No, you really got to look for it. it. It's subtly there if you are looking for it, but more of a weedy smell. <laughs> the real star of the show, Frederick Gary Shinolesco. <laughs> Back to beer. All right, let's give this a taste. Uh, nothing else really to say. You already lost your head. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Your thoughts? I got good thoughts on this one. I'm going to see what your thoughts are, though. It is refreshing. Yes, it's very refreshing. You get a little hint of peach. The back end. I feel like... The like you get like a little bit of like peach taste in the middle and then the back end finishes for me really peachy. It's a little sweet. It is a little bit sweet. Everybody said it was kind of tart, like kind of like soury, but I mean maybe get a, just a hint of like a sour-ish. Yeah, not nothing like open fermentation like the last beer. Yeah. But um a little bit. Maybe just a hint of sour from the peach, but overall the flavor is really good. The peach isn't too dominating. It's kind of like a subtle a subtle peach and it tastes more to me like a Kind of like a light wheat beer, not quite lemony. It's yeah. just kind of a light wheat beer. Not like definitely not like with a hint of peach. Yeah, not not peach weedy. Peach isn't like overwhelming or anything. It's just a tiny bit of peach. Very well done. Mm, peach. <laughs> it's not like um. What are I trying to say? It's not weedy like an Oberon. It's just kind of like the, that like like weedy um. 
like grainy-ish flavor, but it's not overwhelming. It's really good. Yeah. All right. All right. You could get a little bit of a lemony citrus in there. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if that's know. just a peach or if there is actually... It's probably just a peach, but... Gives it that little citrusy zest. About to ham through this real quick. So, this might be a little embarrassing, but what's ham mean? Hard as a motherfucker. <laughs> Alright. About to go ham. You ain't heard that song? I'm not... Yeah, I haven't heard it. <laughs> okay, I'll play it for you later. Let's put it in the blog intro if I, I can find wait. it. <laughs> um, Is that it? A short blog? Short blog. Let's give us a rating. Wrap oh, it up. Yeah. I go first. Yeah, you go first. Four. You giving us a four? Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> four point zero one. For you? I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this like a four point two five. I think it's better than most of the fours that we've had. I think it's really refreshing. Really great summer beer. I really like peaches and the subtle peaches. Are, it's not too bad that it takes over the beer. It just gives it a really nice. Refreshing summer taste. It's only four point five percent. It's only four and a half. Yeah, so I'm. Low. You could drink six or seven of these, and <laughs> I mean, I could, but Ooh. Ooh, challenge. <laughs> uh, all right, deuces.